Hi guys, it's your girl Shelby. Welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be talking to you guys a bit about hair health and how I keep my hair healthy and growing long and full and basically preventing against dryness and split ends. So a lot of you have been asking me about what I do for my hair and I think the first recommendation I would suggest is really cleansing your body. I found that I struggled with dry hair, very brittle, and when your hormones are not balanced, your hair is going to be completely and totally affected. So you really need to look at your hormone balance. That is one big key thing. Another thing is thyroid balance. And I'm going to be giving some suggestions in this video to basically balance both. But when your hormones and your thyroid are at a balance or your thyroid is low, this really affects your hair because your body is deficient in some key, you know, fatty acids and vitamins and nutrients that are basically there to keep your hair healthy and keep everything flowing. So those are two big things that really affect the hair. Another thing that is more of a cause for unbalanced hormones, but it is stress. Stress I found for myself even, stress, anxiety, you know, overthinking, that really affects my hair health. I noticed through the winter, this past winter, my hair was super dry and it was really frizzy on the ends. Like right now it's not, but um, through the winter I was just having a really hard time keeping my hair hydrated and every time I would brush it I would get split ends so I found I was I was looking at different things that I was doing with my health I mean I was taking a lot of supplements I was using really good clean products but I had a lot of stress in my life and that definitely played a key role so stress is one thing so yeah taking a look at your hormones your thyroid and stress so just to recap is really important before you start you know buying different products or trying different supplements uh, those are three things you want to look at and something that I would start off doing so you know you're looking into your hormones you're doing you know trying to lower your stress whatnot is cleansing I think that cleansing is so crucial to healthy hair because if we're having an overabundance of you know pollution so this is like chemicals from our beauty products and chemicals from the environment and chemicals from the clothes we wear and you know the foods we eat this all puts a burden on our body and it is going to affect our hair because if our body is overburdened our hair is not going to be growing. This is one of the last things the body is, you know, putting resource on. The body is focused on keeping our health, our blood pH balanced. That is the number one key because if our blood pH goes imbalanced, that means we die. So hair is one of the last things our body kind of looks at. So that's why it is really important to do a cleanse. So you're cleansing out these pollution and parasites as well. Parasite cleansing is super important. I did a video on cleansing. I think it was a few videos ago. I will link it at the end of this video so you guys can click on it and check it out. It's also on my channel, but I basically give you guys a whole free cleanse on my blog. So my blog, shelbynaturals.com, and I'll have that link in the description. It's also on the screen if you guys want to check it out, and it's a full cleanse, and I think that is really crucial to keeping your hair healthy and growing again so whether your hair is just dry it needs a little bit of a boost or it is splitting it is just not growing as long and thick as you want it to grow or you're having problems with hair loss so your hair is falling out okay so the number one thing i want to talk about before i get into supplements before i get into products is food so how you feed your body is crucial to how your hair is going to look feel and if you're gonna get hair growth going on so one of the main I'll go through different food groups that you should incorporate daily uh, one of the main groups especially for hair because our hair is made out of keratin so it's made out of protein protein really strengthens it and I find that incorporating well I know that incorporating protein rich foods into my own diet personally really help my hair I found, you know, I cut back on my carb intake on, you know, sugary things. I mean, I don't usually eat sugar things, but you know, if you eat a lot of carbs, they get converted into sugar and started to eat more proteins. So some examples of proteins, and I mean, it's not just for meat as well. If you're vegan or vegetarian, you can definitely get proteins from a lot of other sources. I mean, there's protein in vegetables. There's a lot of protein in beans, legumes. So there's protein in so many things, nuts and seeds, even like hemp seeds are really high in protein. 
um, but I like to incorporate and I generally have eggs daily so free-range eggs I like to have salmon so I have fish a salmon trout about once or twice a week so that's how I get my protein in and then again I do have a lot of plant-based sources like I mentioned before and then after protein and incorporating proteins into my diet I like to incorporate fats healthy fats I used to be so scared of fats and you think oh fats equal I'm gonna get fat but you're not it fats are so good for you and it's amazing I'm really happy to see a lot more doctors and a lot more people recognizing that fat is good for them it's good for your skin it's good for your hair it's good for your body for your brain like fats are amazing and some fats that how I incorporate fats into my diet are I love nuts and seeds so I've been actually having a lot of almonds walnuts I'll do pecans so these are some of my favorite nuts that I like to incorporate and I'll put it into my smoothies I'll just eat them raw walnuts are delicious raw and they're known as a beauty in skin food so they're super high in vitamins and minerals so I love eating those raw almonds raw um, making nut milks uh, pumpkin seeds is another seed that is really good it's high in zinc too which is great Great for your hair so nuts and seeds are super high in healthy fats avocados I mean as we all know they're amazing source of healthy fats I love to have at least one avocado a day I try but um, yeah avocados are great and then oils as well I actually brought a few oils to show you guys so olive oil this is the olive oil that I use and this is actually directly from Italy. It's important to get a good quality olive oil because a lot of them are fake. It's actually not even olive oil in the container. Even though it says olive oil, you need to check and see if the family farm is on it. So this shows that it's, you know, Serafino. The family farm is Olera San uh, Giorgio. I I can't pronounce that from Italy so it says the exact address where they're pressing this oil so I know that this oil is good and it is just so rich in antioxidants this is specific auto olive oil and it's actually one of the oils that I incorporate in some of my skincare products because it is just so full of so many benefits vitamins minerals nutrients it's actually a skin beautifier and it's amazing for your hair so I'll even put this into my hair as like a hot oil treatment and then I brought over a couple more oils i'm just bending down because i had no room on my table uh coconut oil again really widely known oil amazing for your hair to put in topically or i just cook with it a lot of my foods are cooked with coconut oil and then avocado oil this is a raw avocado oil so i don't know if you can see um and this one i picked up at my health food store and i just love i do hair treatments with it i'll put it on my skin and I also eat it as well. I'll cook with it, put it in salads and whatnot. Yeah, that's another great oil to incorporate. And then the next thing is incorporating vegetables and fruits, which should have been the first thing, but vegetables, fruits are just key components to healthy hair and healthy skin and just overall health. Vegetables and fruits are so full of antioxidants. They're full of minerals. They're full of phytochemicals that basically help to neutralize free radicals in our body so every day you know we're aging and these vegetables and fruits are basically like antioxidant pack anti-aging um, warriors that just we eat and they're so good for us so I always try and eat so much more vegetables and fruits than I you know what it would usually do so you know that's and a few ideas are making smoothies are having you know lots of sat like salads with your lunch salads with your dinner steaming vegetables with you know your protein and your uh, whole grains and just really incorporating um, greens and fruits as fruits are a little bit easier to incorporate because they taste really good they're sweet I don't really recommend having a ton of fruit because it can be high in sugar so you know just having a balance I mean balance is always key to being healthy but fruits and vegetables again so full of just dense nutrients and minerals that are amazing for nourishing our hair uh, some fruits and vegetables that I mean, are specific to hair health, like dark leafy greens, super high in vitamin C, and then the colorful vegetables and fruits like lemons and bell peppers, and I mean, there's some like apricots. These are amazing, amazingly high in vitamin C, so they're really, really great, again, for your hair health, absorbing more nutrients into the body. So then the last thing I want to talk about in terms of food is whole grains. So usually whole grains, I find they get a really bad rap because they are higher in carbs and a lot of people overdo whole grains. I mean, whole grains are just like a big part of our culture. They've been hybridized and basically refined. So all the nutrients have been taken out of them and they are really detrimental to our health. So there's a lot of really beneficial whole grains like 
quinoa. There is, I mean, legumes, I would say, I mean, they're not really a whole grain, but you know, they're in that dried category. Oats, I mean, there's so many things. Amaranth, there's so many ancient grains. I use spelt and kamut as well for making, you know, breads and cookies. And if I want to treat myself, you know, using these ancient grains, they're actually dense in B vitamins. And B vitamins are so essential for your hair. So just in terms of growing like the thickness and fullness. So I like, so an example of a meal, uh, including all these food groups for me would be like I'll have a piece of salmon with some avocado, some lemon, I'll have a bit of a salad on the side, I'll even steam some broccoli, and then I'll incorporate some quinoa and usually put a bit of olive oil on it and some lemon juice, salt and pepper, and that's a meal. Okay, so next thing I'm going to talk about is supplements, so nutrients you can add into your diet. So one thing that I'm really excited about, ta ta I'm staring at it right now, I'm going to pick it up. <laughs> is noni juice. So this is one thing that I just started taking. Um, I've heard a lot about it. I actually heard a lot about it from Miranda Care, but I believe it is from Hawaii. And anyways, this fruit is so, th so they regard this as like, uh, like a food of the queen, like a queen can eat this food. Like noni is apparently so nutrient dense. They actually use this fruit to heal wounds. I mean, it's known as like, medicine there so it is so good for you and i just was doing some research about it and apparently it is amazing for hair growth because it just has such a dense it brings basically brings circulation to your skin and it is bringing circuit so whenever you bring circulation you're bringing nutrients to that area because you're bringing blood flow so it basically brings circulation and it helps to stimulate hair growth so i was like this is something i really want to try because i've tried so many supplements i've tried collagen and whatnot and you know know this and that and biotin and blah blah and noni juice because it's a whole food too and it's a superfoods this is a liquid I was really all in because you know with whole foods and you know not isolating things we're getting all of the nutrients and all of the benefits so I just started incorporating this I've noticed my hair is definitely very hydrated it is not dry I mean this is like a close-up of my hair so it's pretty, I just washed it too. So of course it's nice, it's not greasy. And I do a shot of it with cranberry juice, so just pure unsweetened, no sugar cranberry juice every morning. I do a tablespoon and I mean, we'll see how it goes. I just started about two weeks ago, so we'll see how it flies. Okay, so noni juice is the first thing. The second thing I wanna recommend is probiotics. I talk a lot about probiotics in my video, so I'm not gonna go too in depth. So probiotics. So I take the Genestra Multivite, which is not even, well, you guys know what it is, probiotics. <laughs> so I've been taking, this is 15 billion, a capsule. Sometimes I'll take two if I eat out or I just had not a great day digestive wise, but I generally take one for maintenance and probiotics are the one supplement I recommend for everyone because it's our good bacteria. And this is our defense for our immune system. I mean, if we don't have enough good bacteria, we're not gonna absorb nutrients from our foods. We are gonna have digestive issues and we're gonna have so many other issues branching off from that, including imbalanced hormones and even greater susceptibility to getting sick and whatnot. So probiotics, number one supplement, beautifying food for your skin. The And how it helps your hair is because when our bodies are able to absorb more nutrients and we have a healthy gut, then this will help our hair to get healthy as well because we're getting the nutrients in that we need that's crucial for hair growth and just repairing imbalance. So probiotics. Okay, now after the probiotics, omega-3. So this is fish oil. There are a lot of vegan options if you are vegan or vegetarian that are from algae that are also great. I find that fish oil yields the best results for me, so that's why I continue to take it. This is a liquid, again, from Genestra. I really like their brand, they're professional, and their supplements are really high quality. Uh, with fish oil, it's really important to choose high quality because it's an oil, so it can oxidize quickly, and it, you should be choosing something that is has the triglyceride form. So I'm not gonna go too much in depth because I did talk about this in another video as well. Um, but triglyceride form basically means that it's the fats that our body recognizes and a lot of companies will leave it in the synthetic form and this actually causes more inflammation and issues. So fish oil, amazing for hair. This is one of the top supplements I recommend because for health, if your hair is dry, brittle, splitting, fish oil is your guy. This is gonna really add 
fatty acids to the body. It's going to really nutri like hydrate your scalp, basically hydrate your body. And this is amazing for brain health too. So fish oil is amazing for the hair. So I do a tablespoon a day. And the last two supplements that I have is a B complex. So you may have heard a lot about biotin for the hair and I don't even know if this is going to zoom in, but that's okay. It's not going to focus today. Uh, biotin for the hair and this is basically a blend of all the bees because and biotin as well because it is a bee vitamin because i believe that getting you know the full complex the full you know spectrum of it is much better than just taking an isolated supplement and i mean through research and whatnot that i've done and my schooling with holistic nutrition i believe that a holistic approach is the most effective so you know usually if you're stressed if you're experiencing hormone imbalance your hair is going to be dry and and falling out anyways and you're gonna need all the b vitamins anyways so i just said anyways twice i've been taking b vitamins every day i noticed a huge difference especially in my moods and my pms and my hair so this is a great supplement to take and i will do the last supplement so whoop. okay and last but not least for the supplement recommendations i am a huge fan of a whole food multi and the one i take is called juice plus and i don't know there we go focus Oh, and I've been taking this for about six, seven years for a while now, but it's basically a blend of juiced fruits and vegetables. And there is, there's another one with antioxidants as well. I don't have that one at the moment. So in, all in all, the full three fruits, vegetables, antioxidants, it has about 27 fruits and vegetables and berries, whatnot. And I just found that it was the best supplement that delivered the best results. It had the cleanest ingredients and I wanted a supplement without any synthetic vitamins because synthetic vitamins actually cause inflammation in your body and they basically overwhelm your liver. So they're not even that great to take. Well, they're not going to take it all, I believe. So I wanted to find something juiced, completely whole food, and I couldn't find anything except for Juice Plus. So that is one supplement that I really love, that I take every day, and I know that it's doing something for me because, I mean, you know, we take all these supplements and we don't really see a change from one thing, but we just know that when we stop it, like I've stopped this a few times, multiple times in the, you know, in the last, you know, few years that I've been taking it, six, I don't know, six, seven years, something like that. But um, I noticed that when I stopped it, I just, it made a difference in my skin and my health and my energy. So I just continue to take the supplement. I believe in it. And I think it's really important to get whole food multi. So you're getting all the vitamins because I mean, and some people will say to me, oh, I just eat fruits and vegetables. And you know, I mean, that's the best way to eat fruits, fresh fruits, and vegetables, of course, like local, fresh, organic, like, you know, that is the best. But because our farming methods nowadays, I mean, our fruits and vegetables are so much lower in minerals and vitamins than what they once were. And I think, that we have well I know that we have to eat so much more and I personally I mean I eat really healthy but I can't eat you know that much fruits and vegetables every day so this is something that helps me to bridge the gap actually I lied there's one more supplement and I brought it with me it's collagen powder so I buy it in bulk I buy grass-fed collagen and on Amazon actually and I just put it into a glass container to keep it because it comes in plastic and I don't want it to stay in plastic. And collagen, I think, is so great to take, not only for your skin, a lot of people think skin collagen, but it really helps your bones, your joints. I do a lot of weight training and working out and I just wanna keep my bones and joints, muscles healthy. And I think collagen is a great way. I actually use my collagen powder as my protein powder because I find a lot of protein powders is a lot of added ingredients and I just want pure protein. And this is pretty high. I think it's about 11 grams per scoop. So I'll just do two or three scoops after a workout. And I generally like to add it to my smoothies. It tastes like nothing. And collagen is again, really great for if you want thicker, fuller hair. Cause I found once I started taking collagen, I've always had pretty thick hair naturally but it just improved my hair texture. And, and then last but not least, guys, I'm gonna show you some of my favorite products. So as you know, I don't like to overcomplicate my routine with my skincare. So that's why I created my skincare line to be so simple yet effective. So hitting all of those points, being the most anti-aging things you can do, you know, preventative things you can do for your skin. And that's what I wanna do with my hair. I don't like to use a ton of products and I went all natural, I mean, probably 10 years ago now. 
um, when I learned about chemicals in my beauty care and it is so important so I'm just gonna quickly say this before I show you some of my products so important to choose products that are free of chemicals because you're further our skin absorbs these chemicals especially our scalp our scalp is super absorbent and our brain is right below like it's this is our head it's like this is our head so you want to be choosing really good products and a lot of products i mean sadly nowadays will say oh we're natural or we're organic but they're really not you read the ingredients and you're like really guys so i mean especially finding shampoos and conditioners nowadays most of them have sodium benzoate which is a chemical that causes cancer it interacts with vitamin c vitamin e and creates benzene so this is one thing that i try to avoid and let me tell you guys it is hard but i have found some good products that i love okay so currently for shampoo and conditioner i am using the philip adam so this is the shampoo and conditioner there we go and I have actually been enjoying it lately. I think it has been keeping my hair hydrated, healthy. It has a little bit of a strong scent, which I'm, I don't know. Like, I don't think it's from essential oils. I mean, it does say from essential oils. I believe it says that. But it kind of smells a little bit artificial to me. So I don't know. But I've been liking it so far. I like to change my shampoo and conditioner up about every six months. I find that your with my hair it gets used to shampoos and conditioners because it's something that's cleaning and you know stripping our hair basically because it's stripping down you know the oils dirt anything that gets in there and our hair can really get affected by it if we use it for too long okay next thing is a hair mask so you this is not an essential but this is one of my favorite products ever I am it's really hard for me to be impressed with hair products I've tried so many things and this one is amazing it's basically a hair mask you can use it in replacement of a conditioner you leave it in for about five minutes when you're in the shower and it is so good it saved my hair when I had this little mask mishap I'm not gonna go into it but this is really really good I recommend it's John Masters hair mask and I will link everything in the description as well so you guys can check them out. But this one is gold. It is amazing. I love it. You, They did an amazing job on this product. Okay. Next things I do. Uh, so the body oil. So this is one of my products. And I use this my whole body throughout the summer. It is amazing. Got rid of my cellulite, stretch marks, sunspots. So good. I actually put this into my hair too. So I'll mix it with avocado, I'll mix it with banana, and I'll do a hair mask for about 30 minutes, 30 minutes to an hour. And it's super hydrating. This has a golden jojoba oil, it has auto olive oil, it has a coconut oil as well. So it's a blend of three really nourishing, nutrient rich oils. So this is really great, and I use that about every day basically. And then the serum, so this is another one of my products and i've just tried tons and tons of leave-in things after i you know have a shower i want to straighten or curl my hair i don't want my hair to get damaged or split so having something you know as a heat protectant or leave-in is really important to me the serum is meant for your face but i found that using this on my hair is amazing it's in a base of organic moroccan argan oil and then there's some essential oils as well neroli myrrh which are really amazing for your skin and even your i found it really repaired my split ends so i use this on both my skin and skin and hair and it is phenomenal i mean obviously i'm biased but I love the best only the best only the best quality and that's why I started my line because I couldn't trust anybody else so that's the basic truth okay last tip for products hairbrush hair brush so a good hairbrush is so key my hairdresser used to tell me this I said oh my hair is splitting but like I eat lots of healthy fats and I eat all these supplements and I do this and I do this and I do this and she's like girlfriend what do you brush your hair with I was like, uh, a hairbrush? She's like, what kind of hairbrush? I was like, I don't know. Like, I just brush it. She's like, how do you brush your hair? So I showed her. I'm like, Whoa. like, literally, I'm just, I like being fast, speedy. So I'm like, rah, rah, rah. and she's like, okay, that's why you have split ends. So brushing your hair is so important. So when you brush, you actually should start at the end and um, work your way up because apparently when you brush from the top, it just it gets caught in the hair and then it causes split ends. I don't know, she was explaining to me, but it sounded like it made sense and it act is actually helping my hair. 
The hairbrush I use now is actually Boar Bristle. Now this is an antique hairbrush that I found at a garage sale. So it sounds gross, but I cleaned it, disinfected it and everything. So it's completely clean and it is Boar Bristles. And this is the best hairbrush I've ever used. And I've spent some money on hairbrushes trying to find a good one. I've had bamboo and different ones and boar bristles. And I found this one is like amazing. So I can't really recommend it to you guys because I, it's like a hundred year old hairbrush. But I mean, I would go for something gentle. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed my video on how to take care of your hair. Do a hair flip for y'all hair flip give me a thumbs up and hit subscribe to join in on my channel i do videos every friday bye guys have an amazing day